Hey guys, I am really excited for today's video. And why is that? Well, lately I have been really into messenger type bags. Uh, lately, I've, when I've been going to work, I've been using my messenger bags. I have been using the heck out of my Troc Baron. I've been using my Bedouin Barbarossa a ton. I feel lately that going to an office or going to work with a backpack doesn't jive with me. Like I just feel a little weird going into uh, these offices, these attorney's offices, these doctor's offices wearing a backpack. So lately I've been really getting into all these messenger bags and really liking it. Even when I've been going out with my family, with my wife and my daughter, going to different places, I normally take the Trek Baron. I've been taking that Cotopa uh, Cotopaxi Chasky to do some things uh, with my daughter. So I recently found out that Mystery Ranch was coming out with a few different types of bags. And, you know, there's that quote that says that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I emailed the media company behind uh, Mystery Ranch and I asked them if they would be willing to send me uh, samples of two of the bags that were recently coming out. And surprisingly, I was really, wasn't really re expecting it. They said yes. And here they are. I, I asked them to send me the three-way briefcase, which this is a new version of the three-way brief. They've made some changes to it from what I understand. And then you have this District Pro, which is a brand new bag. I know they've had a District line for a little bit, but this is the District Pro. And both of these bags just came out, I believe, early July. So just uh, a couple weeks ago. So what I want to do is I want to give a first impression because I just received these bags, but I've been using them since I received them for the last like week and a half because I was, I was on vacation for, for a few days. So what I want to do is I just want to give you my first impressions of both these bags. And later on in a few months, I'll come back and I'll give you a full review. I'll do a video for each one of these bags um, instead of mushing them together like I'm doing for this one. So let's talk a little bit about this three-way brief. So here we have this three-way brief. And initially, right off the bat, I want to say that the material is really interesting because they're using this new Cordura called Cordura Recor, which is a pre-consumer uh, reclaimed material that they're using. So instead of wasting that material, they're taking it, they're making a high quality yarn out of it. So I believe the technical term for this one is Cordura Recor RN66. Uh, there's a lot of technical aspects to it. I don't want to get into that too much, but in terms of hand feel and durability, this does remind me a lot of the Urban Assault 21 that I used for my dad bag article with Carryology. Aside from the outside material, the handles are very comfortable, um, nice webbing here. They have like these super beefy YKK zips that have the AquaGuard sealing to them. Really nice, you know, good zip ties on here. Just a really nice looking bag. Um, then you have on the strap, you have these, this turning buckle. I believe these might be Duraflex. I'm not sure because I don't see any branding on them, even though I know on the District Pro, the buckles are Duraflex, or at least that's what I think they are. But Really, really good stuff. Um, here in the front, you have typical Mystery Ranch tri-zip. But it's not a tri-zip, it's just a double zip with a Fidlock buckle. And it's really cool. So here you have this one compartment. So you have this compartment that's here. Let me just toss this stuff. Because I've been using this for work. So I have a bunch of like ethernet cables and things like that. You have a pocket here, pocket here. You have like this main pocket here. Then you have this zippered pocket, which might seem a little weird because it, you have like this mesh zippered pocket, but we're going to see why that makes a bit of sense in a second. So we have that compartment there and it closes with a, with a fidlock and double zip. You have this section here and you have a bunch of stuff. So you have Another drop pocket here with an elastic closing. You have another z mesh zippered pocket. And then you just have this big space that's here. And this is where I have, you know, my typical work pouches that you've seen pretty much in all of my reviews. 
So there's some stuff going on here. There's a lot of organization. There's a lot of places to put things. So you're seeing that with this bag. So then let's go into the laptop compartment. And as you saw, all the zippers are AquaGuard. So this is, of course, not waterproof, but it's going to be highly water resistant. And then you have essentially a laptop sleeve. So you have a padded laptop sleeve. And then, you know, these are my work documents. And then you have more organization. So you have another drop pocket here, another drop pocket here. So this is kind of like your tech pocket for your laptop, your tablet, maybe some chargers and stuff like that. So that's the, the internals of the bag. But then here's the interesting part. This right here, zipper, expands the bag further. So you can actually expand this bag out and what does that look like to you? It looks a little like luggage. And I think that is, you know, aside from maybe some work scenarios where you would need a little bit of extra space. To me, I think so far this bag will shine as something for somebody who is maybe, maybe just traveling a day or two for work. Or I've heard recently that people are flying into a city having a meeting, and then that evening having to fly back, something like this would be perfect for them. Because just as the name says, there's three ways that you can carry this. So of course, like any briefcase, you can carry it regular style. And also, by the way, in the back, there is a luggage pass-through. Then you have a strap here to carry its shoulder, which what I'll do is I'll put it on now so you can see kind of what it looks like. So it's kind of a big bag, but if you are carrying a lot of stuff, it's, it could be worth having a lot of, of space with you, but cool bag. And then the other section that's really neat about this is you've got these straps. And guys, I gotta tell you that these straps, look, look at this. This is beefy, squishy, comfy straps of course they're not going to be as comfortable as perhaps like say the urban assault or something like that or, or one of those futura harness bags but really easy you can just clip this in and now this turns into a backpack so you can carry this three ways i remember how i told you that that pocket seemed really interesting when you open it, now you have this drop pocket here, which that makes a little bit more sense when you carry it in backpack mode. So awesome bag. My impression so far is that for my needs, it's a little big for work. It's structured, like you see, it's, even though it's not that packed right now, it, it's structured, it stands on its own. It's a beefy, bag so if you're carrying a lot of stuff if you if you're traveling you can definitely take this if if you need something that is going to be super versatile because look let's face it not everybody who's watching this video not everybody who's into bags is out here with 10 15 20 different bags for different things of life a bag for every situation sometimes some people just want one bag or two bags that can do everything and if that's you if you want a bag that's going to be able to take you to different places and not break the bank, so far, my money, you know what? This is a great bag. And I like that it is very professional looking. I, I like that even the Mystery Wrench logo is, is muted. It's not bright colors. It's just really, really cool. Uh, one thing I would say that it would be kind of nice is if the zippers were blacked out like just black zippers instead of silver zippers, but that's just me being nitpicky, whatever. Cool looking bag. Um, like I said, right now I'm gonna be testing it. I've been using it for a week. Uh, I've actually got, gotten a few compliments about it. All right, so that is the Mystery Ranch three-way briefcase. It's out right now. Give it a look. And like I said, it's not gonna break the bank and you're gonna get an excellent product. Mystery Ranch is known for their quality, known for their durability, known for their designs. Now let's go to what I consider like the breakout star. Like I was not, look, I was expecting to like this bag, 
because I like the design of it from the get-go. And as soon as I saw this one in, in uh, an email about products that were coming soon, I was just like, man, this looks like a really cool bag. And when I got this, I was like, hmm, this is an interesting design. I'm not sure about it. But the second that I started using it, I was like, this is awesome. Let's go into it. So firstly, the strap on this one is a lot bigger than in the briefcase. In the briefcase, you saw that there's no padding. There's nothing like this. It's just essentially the webbing. But on this one, it has like this really great padding because this is meant to be a crossbody. This isn't meant to just be shoulder carry. This is meant to be a crossbody. And let me show you one cool feature. It has the ability to quickly tighten and loosen. So tighten up or loosen it. Awesome. I think it's such a cool thing to do. There is handles here at the top. Again, really nice uh, webbing handle. It has a luggage pass through. It has a pocket that goes about halfway down. Uh, that's about there, halfway down. Kind of a hidden pack. You put passports and stuff in there if you're traveling with it. <clears throat> like I've been telling you, I, I've been really into messengers lately. And one thing that, that I have noticed about a lot of messengers is that they don't come with bottle pockets. And I think that kind of sucks. But this bag has two bottle pockets. It has one here. And then it has another one here. Barrett's ginger beer, the ginger beer of Bermuda. Well, it's made in Bermuda. If you were to probably think of a ginger beer from Bermuda, you would think of Goslings. But anyways, awesome ginger beer if you can find it. Um, you see, this one has a bit of a more sporty look because of the black and the bright orange. But here, let's go into some of the things. This front pocket is Velcro. I'm not the biggest fan of the Velcro. I kind of, I, not kind of, I wish they would have put magnets here instead of Velcro. In fact, after I go through my review period and, you know, I kind of get the go ahead to make some additions, what I might do is I might mute out these, these uh, Velcros and put the, and put some magnets. So that way I can just really open and close this quickly without making a ton of noise. So we have a pocket here in the front which also has a button with a zipper. So you can kind of open this up a little bit more. So I have some other work equipment here, my utility pouch from Ancoats. And then you have, so you have this compartment here and then you have two drop pockets. So that's the front of the bag. Then you have this small, actually not small, it's not deep, but it is long. Uh, kind of a quick access pocket with a key leash, which I'm never going to use. Um, I put my wallet in here. Really easy to get to. get to. Then you have the main compartment. And what's kind of cool about the main compartment is that it goes down pretty deep. And you have a ton of stuff here. A ton of ways to open this. And you have this main compartment here. You have two drop pockets. This is my daughter's stuff. You have a pocket here, a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. So you have a lot of expandability organization here to do stuff. You can take some of this stuff out. Now, as I'm kind of diving in deeper, I'm noticing that there's a few different buttons here that look like I can maybe take some of this out. I'm gonna have to investigate that further. I'll, I'll most likely talk a little bit more about this in the review, but I'm noticing details now as I'm diving in uh, of things that I'm not currently using. But anyways, you, look at how much space this is. I think this is rated at 17 liters, but there's a ton of space here. And I've been able to put in my laptop, uh, some business documents, and then lately I've been taking my daughter to work with me a few times a week. So I've actually been able to put my daughter's first aid kit, her food, some extra equipment that I need in the drop pockets, and close it up. I have really enjoyed this bag because kind of the it reason I had issues, not issues, but the difference between the Baron and the Barbarossa in terms of messengers is I like the Baron a little bit more because it melded to my body better. It wasn't as rigid as the Barbarossa. And I feel that the District Pro and the three-way brief, even though they are different bags, different use cases, they still are 
not backpacks that can more or less serve the same functions. This bag melds to the body a little bit better than the more rigid three-way brief. So I have actually found myself really wanting to use this bag a lot more. I have found it to be super versatile for, for my day-to-day -day stuff, not for traveling. If I was traveling, I think I might take the three-way brief, but if I didn't have that, I would take this. This is a bit cheaper. I believe this is 120 or $130, but it is a great bag that is also, because of this strap, it's ultra comfortable. I have really enjoyed using this so far. So if you haven't heard of the District Pro and you are looking for a messenger that's a little bit bigger, that's not going to break the bank, that is going to be durable, well-designed, backed by a company with a great reputation, then look, look at this, look at this bag, look at the District Pro. I think you're really going to like it. So far, the main nitpick that I have about it, because there is a lot to like here, but the main nitpick is the Velcro. I felt that that was kind of a cheap decision. I wish they would have gone with magnets on that one. And not all, the, the zippers, they don't have that same like coating that the briefcase has. Um, I mean, they, they do look pretty sealed, but I don't think they're going to be as water repellent as the zippers on, on the briefcase. You know, zipper pulls are cool. You see, these are the blacked out zippers that, that I was talking about for the three-way. I think that would have been really neat. But in terms of utility, this one's great too, especially because of the bottle pockets. I've been using this now for about a week, and every, like I said, every time I use it, I just, I just really, really like it. So guys, this is my first impression of the Mystery Ranch three-way three briefcase and the District Pro. They're out now. I really like them so far, but in a few months uh, after I've been using them for quite a bit, I will come out with a full review for each one. And I do have a long trip coming up uh, in October. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably take one of these on that trip and really put it through its paces because it's going to be, uh, we're going to go flying international. We're going to be taking a cruise. We're going to be doing a lot of things, walking around, doing activities. So I really will be putting one of these bags through its paces to see, you know, if it really holds up. So it's great to, to be here with all of you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, so again, Mystery Ranch District Pro and the three-way brief. Take it easy, guys. See you soon.